Second green. He rebuts at 10 verse 22. Let us draw near with a true heart, in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Your heart will tell you, you owe nobody nothing. You owe nobody nothing. That you are following God with your heart, with a pure heart, sprinkled, washed by the blood of Jesus from an evil conscience, and your bodies washed with clean water. That is also point number two, peace of salvation experience. In 1 Samuel chapter 11, verse 15, B and D, they sacrificed sacrifices of peace offerings before the Lord, and they saw and all the men of Israel rejoiced greatly. Let's understand something. Peace is settled in the hearts of those that have accepted our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. One sure presence of our Lord Jesus Christ in your heart is in the midst of terrifying circumstances is peace. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is a peace that you need in this life. Now let's go down to our text. Those that believe King Saul before the victorious war with the Ammonites celebrated him and went to Gilgal and offered peace offerings to the Almighty God because their peace was restored after the salvation of the cross of the Ammonites. Because it was a terrifying time. Because King Saul had to do this and that, and they had to gather the people together, they went to war. And as soon as they defeated or defeated the Ammonites, their peace was restored. You see, when you are saved, you have peace. We'll be looking at peace after salvation experience. In Hebrews 13, verse 20, now the God of peace that brought again for the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of our sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant. You see, in the case of King Saul, after the people defeated the Ammonites, they went to offer peace offerings. And the Bible recorded that the men of Israel were rejoicing. When you are born again, you are a child of God, you have peace with God. There's a peace that floods your mind. Peace preludes salvation experience. If you lack peace of heart, go to the Almighty God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Israelites were saved from the life-threatening message of the Ammonites under King Neash. Soon after the salvation experience, their peace took a new dimension. And they had to offer the peace offerings to the Almighty God. The peace that they got from the salvation from the hands of their enemy was appreciated and valued. It was not easy with them their trying time. And as they prepare for the war, the peace of salvation is always cherishable and gracious. We shall be looking at the benefits of peace from salvation experience. When peace is experienced, joy is experienced. When joy is experienced, greater strides can be done for the Almighty God in this walk of life. One of the many reasons most people cannot announce or take their stand for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ when it matters the most is their sense of peace and joy. A sincere, joyful heart can go far with spiritual and social economic challenges globally. Not because you see, when you are faced with certain challenges and you do not have the peace of God, you do not have the joy of the Lord, you will not be able to take your stand and confront such challenges. But when you do have the peace of God, the joy of God, you will speak confidently. We shall be looking at the heart, the hope of all activities. The heart, the hope of all activities. The heart. In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, keep the heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. The heart is the center of human activities. Battles are won. The heart. When the heart is experiencing peace with its creator, the vital joy for the resounding victory is guaranteed. If your heart is full of joy with the Lord, and you have peace with God. You talk confidently. You act confidently. You see the vital victory that you so desire. Know the Almighty God now genuinely through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for everlasting joyfulness. Prayer point number one. Let us pray to have genuine peace that salvation brings. Number two. Let us pray to be armed with the lasting joyfulness we need for our daily battles. So let's have an action point. Number one. Go to the Almighty God in prayer. For salvation experience. This is your action point number two. You will experience lasting joy if you know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ genuinely. This is your action point number three. Seek the Almighty God in all things. This is your action point number four. Receive the invitation of our Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation experience. This is your action point number five. Saying with the Almighty God, despite your peculiar circumstance, is the appropriate biblical advice for you. And the question to you and I is, 
Are you assured of the salvation experience? If you are not assured, it is time you begin to pray. You say after me, Lord Jesus, I come before you. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me my sins. And I promise you, Lord, I will not go back to evil anymore. Save my soul from sin and the works of darkness. Lord, write my name in the book of life. In Jesus' name. If you have prayed that prayer sincerely, I'll pray for you right now. Father, in Jesus' name, an individual, every individual that has prayed that prayer sincerely, indeed, you will write his or her name in the book of life. In Jesus' name, that as the name is written in the book of life, the power to live as a child of God will be better in that soul in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I know that you have answered. And for those that are living consistently before you, Lord, grace to do so more. Lord, you will give unto your people in Jesus' name. You will sustain us in the challenging world, in the dynamic world, and we'll stay with you. And because as we'll stay with you, I will have your peace, I will have your joy. We can wade through the storms of life. Thank you, Lord, because I know that you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Thanks for listening to the message. The blessings await you as you obey and pray along. For any inquiry, partnership, and prayers, please check our YouTube page for contact as you click on the select icon. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified on upcoming videos. And do not forget to share. God bless you.